Hello, mortals! Today on Office Soup, we're going to play God in the simulation game Intelligent Design by Dr. Sean Walton. And the goal is to build a stable ecosystem with plants and two kinds of animals, herbivores and carnivores. It's slow paced and peculiar, and but once you get up and running, um, you'll be charmed and absorbed if you're into your science. It's plants and plants. Yes. There they are. There they are. They're going to pop out of God knows where. Seeds! Seeds are going to fall, and they're going to plant themselves on the ground. Already I can see you're hooked. <laughs> okay, so this is Alpha 14, which is a bit tricky to get into, lacking instructions or a tutorial, but I've had a quick play to learn the basics already. Look, you can see that my seeds are slowly sporing to the ground. Actually, this that spore is one of the inspirations for this game, because it's all about mutations and genetics and stuff. I mean, it does look very simple. I mean, look, there are hills that look like bums. And, but there's a ferocious complexity under the surface, uh, with fully modelled genetics and climate and other science things. Right, okay, so let's actually get this up and running. Um, this is a radar, and um, you can basically uh, summon things, plants, herbivores or carnivores, when you're actually in range of the, of the thing. And it'll always summon it at this green cursor in the middle, not your mouse cursor. So, we've got a biomass of 500 at the moment, that's what you start with. That is what you have to spend on making new things, conjuring them out of thin air. And you can earn more by building a collector or a science station. I can already build a collector, so I'll do that now. That's a little building that'll appear. I've spent all my biomass now. However, now it'll start sucking in biomass from the environment and plants. So that'll start going up and we'll start to be able to do things with that. You can also build a science station, which unlocks... Um, genetic engineering abilities as it builds up on science. You can see how things are going. Um, this, these are your targets down here. If you, if you click here, you can see some graphs. We'll be looking at the herbivore and carnivore population graph in a bit. But first of all, we actually need to make some herbivores and carnivores. As you can see, there's a definite day-night cycle. And there's also environmental considerations like humidity and wind. Pop. Okay, so let's set out. I've never actually planted some plants. In fact, I'm going to plant more plants. I'm going to plant some just all over the shop. And there, 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 there. So they're all going to appear out of their mysterious black hole void. And yet again, we're sporing all over the place. Actually, let's go down here. Look, those those plants that I planted right at the start have now slightly emerged out of the soil. There they are. Very simple looking things, but these will grow tall. Very, very cacti type stuff. So, now we've got some plants, let's um, get some... Hang on, where's... There they are, they're still planting themselves. Let's actually get some herbivores onto the scene. So point downwards. Uh, let's just do loads. <laughs> and... Ah! Oh my goodness! Ah! A waterfall of people. So here they are, here's my little chums. Here's my herbivore chums. They'll go and snack on plants. At the moment, they just look like eggs, just rolling around, sort of hexagonal eggs. Oh, there they are. They're, they're actually giving birth right now. They are basically eggs. And eventually, these little tiny little, oh, these wee little worms will emerge, and they're already eating our plants. They're already chomping through them. Uh-oh. Uh, that's pretty much all our plants. Um, they're going to starve quite quickly, I'm afraid. Thankfully, other plants are happening. And already you can see these little... Oh, look, they're getting bigger already. Ah. Uh, so they're going to start moving over to these plants as these grow, and they'll start eating them as well. And we've got loads of other plants going around the place. So I think they're already the herbivores have had it too easy. Let's just look at the graphs. The herbivore population has gone up to about, what, 30-ish? And my world score is at 3%, no, 10%. Ooh, I'm getting good. So yeah, they've had it too easy so far, so let's actually get some carnivores in on the situation. Oh, this is a bloody... <laughs> this is a right old gangbang. Uh, okay, so let's get some carnivores in. Eventually, um, animals will shag um, and produce more. So it's all about building the stable ecosystem. Uh, oh god! Um, th <laughs> there we are. So here we are. Here's the, here's the carnivore eggs. And soon some bastards will hatch. And they'll start chasing around the herbivores. And it'll be amazing scenes. Come on, lads. Aha, they've just hatched. So these red ones... Oh, I've also planted some plants over there. <laughs> So the red ones uh, have now hatched, and now they're like speedy little sports cars chasing the herbivores around the place. Look, it's a battle royale. Uh-oh. Let's see which ones survive. Oh, oh look! Murder! Murder! The, the carnivores are ganging up. Our poor little blue chum. 
A herbivore chum. Well, you're no longer survivor of the fittest, are you? You're survivor of the sh well. You're just gonna die, basically. My red thing is gonna thrive, and everything's gonna be rather scientific. Let's have a look at the graphs. So as you can see, the carnivore population has slightly gone up. Um, the herbivore population has gone down a bit. And they've probably just died because there's not enough plants. Ugh. Right, where, where are these plants? Where are all the other plants? Oh, there they all are. There's some plants. And there's some more plants. So we really do need to get going with planting a few more places. You can't get too far away from the radar. Because it, it, it won't let you um, plant or you know, create anything. So this is about the extent of it at the moment. So more plants. Doesn't really cost us anything to do that. Which is rather handy. Okay, so they're having another little blood fight. It's taken a while for them to actually... Oh, look. oh the, the spores have gone quite far. I think the, there's some serious wind. Let's actually look at the wind. Uh, so the wind speed is quite hmm, reasonable. Humidity is down. And I haven't actually worked out how to translate that into um, actual <laughs> useful information as yet. You can switch... Where's the radar gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can switch a force field on or off. I um, haven't quite sure, worked out why you need to do that yet, so I just kind of leave leave as it is. But now it is daytime um, because of you know, the whole sun situation which is going on over there. It looks like the the, car, the herbivores are hanging around outside here. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? You're just humping the plant. But actually, there's not that many carnivores, are there? I think um, I was hoping that they might just eat all the herbivores and grow in population. But... No, the carnivore population is not increasing, but the herbivores is going down. So let's introduce a few more predators. Uh, carnivores. And a few more. Let's have them guarding the plants. Come on, lads. There we go. Eggs are emerging. It's quite a way up in the air. Okay, so at some point they'll hatch, and they'll go chasing after people. Maybe we should build like a colony far, far away. Let's do one here. Let's do let's do some herbivores. Actually, these plants are pretty much eaten. Hey, what, what are you over there? You, you've gone you've gone for miles. I've, I don't think you're, you're up to much, are you? Oh, I've, I've, I've hit a performance target. Uh, I think I've grown. I've got well. I've done all that basically. Grown ten wild plants. My biomass is going up very slowly, though. Um, well, I'm going to plant loads more plants. I think because I want to. Well, because I, I want to. <laughs> ah! I'm hoping the collector gets more efficient if there's more plants nearby. Well, I don't really know. Let's check the graphs. Whoa! That's, yeah, quite a lot. Yep, that, that's the carnivore population has increased slightly. The environment is, isn't having much of an effect on these graphs at the moment. Uh, world efficiency is not very high. World score 50. Oh look, I'm up to position 763 in the world uh, with a score of 14. I think it's just a question of playing this for a long time if we're going to get anywhere near the top. That's different colour. One of my carnivores is a different colour now. It used to be, they used to be all pink. Or orangey. No, that's no, that's the orangey one. Yeah, the other ones are pink. Okay, let's inspect. I'm going to switch the inspector on. And when the cursor goes over something, uh, it'll this will come up at the bottom. And apparently you can sort of cross genes and grow new things. So I think this is actually a plant that I own. So if I wanted to make a new plant out of genes from... I don't understand this screen at all. I'm going to go for the big numbers. <laughs> See what happens if I create a plant. Let's, let's, let's put it somewhere where I can remember. Let's put it right in between there, although it'll probably blow with the wind. Um, I don't know what it's going to do. Hopefully it'll be the strongest ones. I don't know. Those numbers, I'm hoping they're just like goodness rating. So that's a really high number. Uh, so let's follow the spores. There's not much wind, apparently. Now let's actually check that out. See if I'm actually not going totally mad. Uh, wind is... Yeah, fuck knows. <laughs> also, the spores are actually sitting right next to the collector. So just there. Oh, they're growing fast! Maybe I'm onto something here. Oh, maybe there's, oh, there's a battle. Look. There's a big old battle. Ooh. The car oh, there we go! A death! Death! That, that's a good one. I think that's a good carnivore, this one. Let's... There we go. Carnivore. Let's make a new one. Um... You and you. New carnivores. Random carnivore? Right. So there should be a new one. Let's sort of check out the graphs again and get rid of the inspector. Oh no! The herbivore population's crashing. 
Possibly because they... Actually, the carnivore population's gone down and all. What's happening? Uh, why are they dying? Well, I know the, um... There seems to be a lot of this sort of thing going on. Where are all the... There's not many good plants around. They're all really tiny. I have another spore. Where are, the, where are these new spores coming from? Maybe the plants are reproducing. I think that's... Maybe that's the thing. Right, okay. I think... Is anyone hanging around here? There's... Sort of is. Herbivores are being born in the wild, apparently. Um, okay, let's get some more herbivores. Because there's not enough for them to shag at the moment, I don't think. I mean, look, I mean, the, the carnivore population's about five at the moment. and the, Yeah, there's not enough... We need some serious banging going on. So... Herbivores, carnivores, and plants. This is how you do science. Um, maniacally. And just clicking everything very quickly. There we there Everything is there. Yes, there we go. Playing God. So my current goal is to get a research set, um, station. This isn't that in the bottom right. My biomass is shooting up at the moment. I think growing all these plants near the collector is having an effect. Because it's just suddenly started to go up quite quickly. So I'm growing even more plants. I've spored all over the place, like the dirty child that I am. Right, so that's a, that's going to take care of that. Just checking out my thing situation. Oh, the carnival population. I'm oh, still going down again. Uh, all those, the upwards bit was purely me adding stuff. Um, well, we'll leave them to it for, us, for a bit. I'm hoping very soon. Yeah, here we go. I just need 20 more biomass and I can build my research station, which I'll do right here in the middle. Uh, research station. There we go. Um, you can have tool tips on, which means you can actually find out a bit more information about this sort of thing. Insufficient, oh, ignore us, insufficient biomass. Um, yep. They research, they, they generate science and biomass. Their cost increases as you build more. You can upgrade these for a certain amount of biomass. So with science, science! As I generate science, I've got two so far, I'll be able to unlock things, but that requires a lot of science to be made. 3,000, 1,000, whatever. So that's going to be a long way yet. There's some information in the top right, which is all very informative. But it looks like we are going up levels here, for some reason. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm trying to be useful, I promise. Well, something's going on over... Oh, I've grown a, a hundred wild plants. Something's going on over here. I think these are all predators. Oh, no, I don't, I think, I don't know. I think they may be... Um, I think those, the blue ones, are still car um, herbivores. Let's try and get the inspector thing going on. Hup! It is a herbivore. There aren't any plants around here. Let's bung some in. Out of range. Build more uh -oh. radars. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm too far away from the radar. Oh, that's that's where the radar limit is. I do like it when she starts um, getting all stroppy. Out of range. Build more radars. Out of range. Build more radars. Out of range. Build more radars. Out of range. Build Out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Build more radars. Oh, I've got loads of biomass! It's absolutely shooting up at the moment. Okay, let's upgrade our research centre. There we go. Upgrade in progress. It's a two-tier science station. Looks even more terrifying than before. So let's see how much science I've actually got. Science! We've got 77, 78. Oh, it's going up quite quickly now. Now I've got a, a level two station. So I've just got to wait for that bar to get up to... Oh, bloody hell. Also, that one, that one might be quicker, the plant science one. Because that one's only needs to get to the, that small distance. And then I'll have some unlock or other. God only knows what. Ooh, right, I've met a performance target. I've finally researched a, a thousand planet science. Yes, there we go. Now I've got to, um, now it's changed. So I can, I think I can unlock one plant unlock available. There we go. Um... Did summit. <laughs> I think it's under unlocks. Ah, here we go. Look, I can change the height of the plants uh, for some reason. <laughs> That's handy. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Um, I'm sure that has some strategic use, but I'm not quite sure about it just yet. Right, so by the end of the episode, I want to get up to uh, at least position 300 or higher in the world. Uh, and then I will give myself a pen or something, I don't know. So let's build a, another research centre. Uh, research centre, now costing over a thousand. And I've met the um, the three research stations target now, and I can also upgrade it immediately. 
I haven't really been spending much recently. There we go. Now I'm going to science like there's no bloody tomorrow. See, if you don't keep an eye on things, look, things can go rogue. Look, these um, these herbivores over here have gone miles away. They're just like ligging about in the distance. They're not going to survive very long. They really could do with some plants to munch on. But I think I might have to... Oh, they're going into the dark now. Bye. Never see you again. Actually, where have I gone now? I'm lost. Right, any second now I should be able to research 3000 science. Because I've got loads of research going on now. Uh, keep that up. Oh yeah, I think I've, I think I've just passed it. So yeah, I can unlock... Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Let's go to unlocks. What's this other one then? Lifespan. Ah. Well, let's increase that a bit. It'd be nice to have the plants hanging around a bit longer. Uh, just because, really. <laughs> uh, the population of plants was crashing for a while. Or just drifting downwards anyway. So if we keep that, try and keep that a bit more stable by making them live longer, maybe that'll be a handy thing. Already I can feel like I'm... This isn't an overwhelming game, but I can sense that the complexity of it is so large. Um, even though the, inter the, the initial stuff looks quite simple. That you could be tinkering around with this forever. Just like tiny, tiny little changes, and then you have to wait for a while to see what sort of effects is going on. I always like the, um, the transition from night into day. So yeah, I think this was going to reward a, a lot more tinkering. I'm not going up any better. I'm, I'm still at 365 in the world. Uh, I don't seem to be getting any better at the moment. So I think this does re require a bit more thought. So I will stop here um, as we um, hit quite a decent situation, I think. Yeah, everything's stabilised now. Uh, that's all rather handy. So it feels like I can actually um, call it a day right about here. Okay, cool. So yeah, check this out. This is a free download. This is Alpha 14, uh, which came out in the middle of September. So yeah, if you like your science, science, check it out. So this has been JB from randomizeduser.com. Subscribe for more about the latest games in development, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.